Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mass Community Charter School Dramas Club Holiday Concert. Unfortunately, we could not perform live this year as we had in the past down at the Christmas Village in Center City, Philadelphia. So we decided to come from our living rooms into your living room. So tonight we ask you to sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and... Uh, the students have performed some special songs for you, but before we start, we're going to hear from Mr. Sawyer, the CEO of the Mass School Networks. Good evening, Hi. Mr. Sawyer. Good evening, Mr. Smith. How are you? Great. I'm really excited to be here. Um, my daughter's performing this year along with all of our wonderful children at Mass, and I'm super excited to see everybody this evening. Uh, first, I wanted to thank all of our families for their commitment and their efforts this year, it's been a difficult year. We can't wait to get kids back into the school when everybody can be safe. Uh, but this is one of the most sought out events of the year. I know last year it was a great performance coming right from your living room to all of our mass families. And again, I just want on the behalf of the administration and our board, look forward this, to this evening each year. And again, even though we're in our own homes, I'm really excited to see our talent. I'm gonna save you my voice. Uh, and we can start with our participants this evening. So thanks again to all of our, our families and our students for their efforts in putting this together. And Mr. Schmidt, Ms. Hartner, thank you again for all of your efforts with the Drama Club. Thank you, Mr. Swore, and have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. okay, our first performer tonight is Emery Lodis, and Emery is our youngest performer and her first year in the play. Emery, you're in second grade, correct? Yep. Yep. And Emery, you are going to sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But before you do that, Emery, I'm going to ask you a question. Emery, what's the one gift that you asked Santa Claus for this year? A doll. A doll. What kind of doll? An American girl. Oh, an American girl doll. Oh, we hope Santa brings that for you. So... Emery, you're going to start us off tonight. So whenever you're ready. Okay. You should probably turn it down. Turn that down. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Connor and Blitzen. Why do you recall? The most famous reindeer of all. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph Joining all the reindeer game. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with me, Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Excellent job, Emery. And just like you, I turned into Rudolph today. So I wanted to look just like you. Yes. So that was a great job, Emery. And we wish you a happy holiday. And we will um, see you soon once we get back into school. And now we're going to go over from our youngest performer to our oldest performer. And we bring, a, bring on... Miss Alessandra Earhart. Hello. Good evening, Alessandra. How are you? Good. And Alessandra, you received a present before Christmas even started yesterday, did you not? I did. She received her first acceptance letter and over $93,000 in scholarships. So congratulations to you. Thank and you. I'm sure you have many memories of, of Christmas. And what would you say is your most exciting memory of Christmas? My most exciting memory 
Well, let's see. Okay, so every year, me and my brothers have to sit on our stairs and wait for our parents to be ready with the, you know, their phones and stuff. And I just remember being a kid and waiting and finally being able to go downstairs and see everything I got. So that would definitely be the most exciting moment. And I had to do the same thing. And being one of seven, I was always the first one at the bottom of the step. So, Alessandra, you're going to open us up tonight after Emery. You went and you're also going to close the show for us. So take it away. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and never pinning till he appeared. And the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Excellent job, Alessandra. Thank Excellent you. job. And we'll be seeing you later. And now we're going to welcome Abby Lichendorf. Abigail, how are um, you this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. And I need to bring you on the screen.
Okay, there we are. I apologize for that. And Abby, you're going to sing one of my one of my favorites, and this is one Christmas song that is actually from a Broadway musical um, at one point. And this was also a song that was sung for 19 straight years to open Christmas on, do you know what show? No. The David Letterman Show. Every year. And you are going to sing Christmas Baby, Please Come Home, correct? Yep. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay. Great job, Abby. And Abby, what was the best gift you received over the Christmases? What was your favorite, I should say? Um, I'd probably have to say when I was seven and I got an, um, an iPod Touch for my, birth or okay. not for my birthday Christmas. So when you got an iPod Touch. Okay. All right. So now we're going to leave Abby and we're going to head over to Madison Tree. Hello. Hello, Madison. How are you this evening? I'm good. How are you? I never had a bad day in my life, especially <laughs> now that we're closer to Christmas. <laughs> so let me, oops, we got to bring you up on the screen here. All right, there we go. I apologize for that. And what is your favorite Christmas memory? Um, my favorite Christmas memory is I like getting the Christmas tree. I like decorating it. We all like do, it tree tree. do you have a real tree or a fake tree? Yeah, we have a real tree. Oh, what a beautiful tree. Thank you. Beautiful tree. Okay. And what are you going to sing for us this evening? I'll be singing I'll Be Home for Christmas. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Right. And thank you. You're welcome.
Please have snow and mistletoe and presents on the tree. Christmas Eve will find me where the love light gleams. I'll be home for Christmas if only in my dreams. Christmas Eve will find me where the love light gleams. I'll be home for Christmas if only Thank you, Madison. You're welcome. I hope, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. You too. Okay. Now we're going to go up to the Summerton area. And Bailey and Samantha Boyer are going to sing together. How are you tonight, ladies? Good. Good. How are you? I Like I said, I never had a bad day in my life. Let me bring you up on the screen here. All right. There we go. All right. Ah, wait a minute. I guess I got a match. If we're gonna if we're gonna go that route, I guess Mr. Schmidt has to match with you. How's that? Okay. Good. I know I look silly. Um so who gets to open their gifts first in your house or do you just take turns? We take turns most of the time. Yeah. Sometimes okay. we open them at the same time, but mostly take turns. Do you ever get a gift that you just have to share? Yes. 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 And a lot of the time it will be one that I specifically asked for, and then I have to share it with her. Oh, well, that, that's that's okay. That's what sisters do. Okay. And what are you asking for Christmas for this year, Sam? Uh, I want a penny board. A penny board. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know what that is, and I'm going to Google it later. Okay, and today you're going to sing White Christmas, correct? Yes. yes. Now, do you know what constitutes a White Christmas? No. How many, what, what, to be a White Christmas, we have to have 1.0 inches. We have to have a whole, we have to have an inch of snow on the ground. And do you, could you tell me, any, do you think you could tell me when the last time we had an actual White Christmas in Philadelphia? Thursday. It <laughs> wasn't Christmas, though. There was only one, well, besides Mr. Swoyer and myself and Mrs. Hartner, I think there's only one person on this call that was alive, and she was one or two. The last time Philadelphia had a white Christmas was 2002. Was the last time Philadelphia had an inch or more of snow on Christmas Day. But Hopefully, we'll have one this year. It'd be nice. But if not, we're going to hear you guys sing. 
Yeah. So we're looking forward to hearing you sing White Christmas. All right. of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know where the treetops glisten and children listen to hear falls in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write May your day be merry and bright. And may all your Christmases be white. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen to hear Sleigh bells in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your days be merry and bright. And may all your Christmases be white. So I just found out that a penny board is a little skateboard. Yes. So I don't think I can ride a penny board. And... Bailey, what are you uh, excited about? What's your What's your favorite gift that you received when during Christmas um, so far? My fi My favorite gift that I've ever received was my six thousand piece Lego Hogwarts set that took me like a month to build. It's okay. really cool and it's still in my room. And do you still get Legos? Yes, I ask for Legos every year. Shh! I think somebody in my house wants Legos too. Okay, from some street. With a with a bird and a and a grouch and a little guy named Elmo, so shh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, everybody, shh. All right, he's not on here yet. All right, thank you, ladies. You have a merry Christmas. Okay. You too. Take care. All right, now we're going to go to Miss Abercunes. How are you this evening? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. All right. And what's your uh, memory? What's your favorite memory of Christmas? Um, my favorite Christmas memory would be when we were little, me and all my cousins on Christmas Eve, we all like pick out a bunch of Christmas songs and we'd like sing it to like my grandma and like all of our other family members. And we actually did Frozen songs one year. So okay. that's kind of like. And that's, that's, that's a little. Uh... Plug for our show that we'll be doing <laughs> sometime in May. We'll be doing Frozen. And you're playing a reindeer. Mm -hmm. Correct? And tonight you're going to be singing what for us? 
It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Okay, yes it is. I go up and down every street and I've never seen so many lights in my life. More lights this year, I think, than any year. So take it away. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store, but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A pair of hop along boots and a pistol that shoots as a wish from Barney and Ben. Dolls little talking will go for a walk is the hope from Janice and Jen. Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go There's a tree in the Grand Hotel One in the park as well It's the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Soon the bells will start And the thing that'll make them ring Is the carol that you sing Right within your heart It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. Oops. Great job, Katie. Thank you. Great job. I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too. Okay. Now we're going to go down to our first visit to the McDonough household. And we're going to bring up Molly McDonough. Okay. And how are you tonight, Molly? I'm good. Okay. And Molly's dressed in red there. She's got a piano for us. And she's going to be singing a, a classic for us. And... Um, what what do you like best about this season? About just like winter in general? And Christmas and the season and the well, holidays. It's really close to my birthday, so that's a plus, you know, double gifts. Um, and just the snow. I really I'm a big fan of the cold weather. I'm not a fan of the heat. Okay. Well, I think your song's gonna tell us why. <laughs> yeah. Christmas, I'm Mr. Snow, I'm Mr. Icicle, I'm Mr. Tender. Friends call me Snow Miser, whatever I touch turns to snow in my clutch, I'm too much. I'm Mr. Green Christmas, I'm Mr. Sun. I'm Mr. Heat Blister, I'm Mr. Hundred and One. Friends call me Heat 
eyes Whatever I touch Starts to melt in my clutch I'm too much Great job, Molly. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. And we will hope you have. We hope you get your white Christmas, but it's not looking that good this year. Yeah. So you have a great, great night and uh, enjoy your holiday. Thank you. Okay. At this time, I am going to ask Mrs. Hartner to join us. Good evening, Mrs. Hartner. Hello. Okay. Oh, look at that beautiful tree behind her. Yes, and usually a real tree, but this year because of COVID, I got scared. So first time in, well, just a couple years young that I've actually had a uh, fake tree. And Mrs. Hartner and I have been doing this now since 2015. And yeah. as most of you know, Mrs. Hartner does not like to be in front of the camera. I she guess. leaves that to me. On the behind the scenes, everybody knows that. So, uh, so I just want to ask you one question, Mrs. Hartner. Yeah. What is your favorite Christmas song? I believe it's by our next performer. It's one of my absolute favorites. Um, it's a Marshmallow World. Something okay. that I grew up with. I know Mr. Schmidt's asking a lot about your childhood and something that you want to receive this year for Christmas, but this was always my most favorite song. That uh, reminds me of my childhood, reminds me of my parents. So, so I can't wait to hear your song. All right. So we're going to go over to Liliana Marino, and Liliana is going to come up, and she is going to sing your favorite Christmas song. How are you today, Liliana? Good. Okay. It's good to see you. Look at you. You got the fireplace. You got the tree. Beautiful hat. And you are going to sing Mrs. Hartner's favorite song. But before we go there, now, you're the oldest now, so you have to share Christmas, right? When you were young, now you have, um, now you have more siblings than when you were younger. So now, let me ask you this. Are you going to be the first one to open gifts this year, or are you going to let them open first? Well, usually... Sometimes we go youngest to oldest, but sometimes we go oldest to youngest, and sometimes we go at, like, the same time. Okay. So you like when they go oldest to youngest, don't you? Yeah. So should I text mom real quick? Okay. Nah, I'm teasing. <laughs> okay. All right. So take it away. It's a marshmallow world in the winter When the snow comes to cover the ground It's time for play, it's a whipped cream day I wait for it the whole year round Those are marshmallow clouds being friendly In the arms of the evergreen trees and the sun is red like a pumpkin head it's shining so your nose won't freeze oh the world is your snowball see how it grows that's how it goes whenever it snows the world is your snowball just for a song just get up and roll it along Oh, it's a yum, yummy world made for sweethearts. Take a walk with your favorite girl. It's a sugar day. What a spring is late. In winter, it's a marshmallow world. It's time for play. It's a whipped cream day. I wait for it the whole year round. And the 
when the sun is red like a pumpkin head it's shining so your nose won't freeze oh the world is a snowball see how it grows that's how it goes whenever it snows the world is a snowball just for a song just get out and roll it along it's a yummy, yummy world made for sweethearts. Take a walk with your favorite girl. It's a sugar day. What a spring is like. And winter, it's a marshmallow world. Thank you, Liliana. You did a great job. You have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday, okay? You too. Okay, up next we have Madison Skarinski. Skarinski, I am sorry. Hi. Hello, Madison. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. And Madison, you're going to sing a song that I never heard until you sent me what song you wanted to sing. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's by that girl that puts her hair in front of her face. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And what does Christmas mean to you, Madison? Um, Christmas means a lot to me. It's just to get to see my family more. I love Christmas movies, love making cookies, love the songs, love everything about it. Okay, great. So you're going to sing Snowman to it for us, correct? Yes. Okay, take it away. Don't cry, snowman, not in front of me. Who will catch your tears if you can't catch me, darling? If you can't catch me, darling. Don't cry, snowman, don't leave me this way. A puddle of water can't hold me close, baby. Can't hold me close, baby. I want you to know that I'm never leaving Cause I'll miss the snow till death will be freezing Yeah, you are my home, my home for all seasons So come on, let's go Let's go below zero and hide from the sun I love you forever where we'll have some fun Yes, let's hit the North Pole and live happily Please don't cry no tears now, it's Christmas, baby My snowman and me my snowman and me, baby. Don't cry, snowman. Don't you fear the sun? Who will carry me with the legs to run, honey? With the legs to run, honey? Don't cry, snowman, don't you shed a tear Who will hear my secrets if you don't have ears, baby? If you don't have ears, baby I want you to know that I'm never leaving Cause I'll miss the snow till death will be freezing Yeah, you are my home, my home for all seasons So come on, let's go Let's go below zero and hide from the sun I love you forever where we'll have some fun Yes, let's hit the North Pole and live happily Please don't cry no tears now It's Christmas, baby, my snowman and me my snowman and me, baby. Excellent job, Madison. Thank As you. always, excellent job. Thank you. One of them songs I had to Google, but I did uh, Google it, and uh, you sounded wonderful. Thank and you. Have a great holiday, okay? You too. All right. Next, we're going to bring up Ella. Okay. 
Ella, how are you tonight? Good. Good. Okay. Ella, I had to have somebody sing this song where my older sister would be very upset with me because this is her favorite song. So you're singing this for my sister, Mary Lou, okay? Okay. All right. And Ella, what are you asking for Christmas this year? Um, A few things, but I, I need a new chair because my back hurts all the time. Oh. I for that. <laughs> Okay, a new because because of the virtual learning is that why your back hurts? Yeah, mostly. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get you back into school soon, and you can ask for something a little bit better than a chair. But if you want a chair, that's perfect. And you're going to sing uh, this song. I don't even have to. I don't even have to tell people what it is because once they hear you sing it, they'll all be singing at home with you. So whenever you're ready, take it away. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas Only a hippopotamus will do Don't want a dog, no dinky tinker toy I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy I want a hippopotamus for Christmas I don't think Santa Claus will mind you He won't have to use a dirty chimney flue just bring him through the front door, that's the easy thing to do. I can see me now on Christmas morning, creeping down the stairs. Oh, I join, what surprise when I open up my eyes and see a hippo hero standing there. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus for me. No crocodiles, no rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses. And hippopotamuses like me too. Mom says a hippo would eat me up, but then teacher says a hippo is a vegetarian. There's lots of room for him in a two-car garage. I'll feed him there and wash him there and give him his massage. I can see me now on Christmas morning creeping down the stairs. Oh, what joy and what surprise when I open up my eyes and see a hippo hero standing there. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. No crocodile, no rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses. And hippopotamuses like me too. Excellent job. Excellent job. That was great. Thank you. Okay. All right. You have a Merry Christmas. All right. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now we're going to stop for a second. And we have a special guest that I normally I would say that during the school year, you're not always you want to see the principal, but you haven't seen the principal in a while. So the principal's with us right now. Mr. Santiago, are you there? There she is. Hi, Mrs. Santiago. Oops, you're on mute. You got to unmute yourself. There she is. Hi, Mrs. Santiago. How are you? I'm wonderful. Hello, everyone. So far, these performances have been absolutely amazing. You are all so breathtaking. And I really, really do have a thrill of hope that 2020 is going to bring us better things and that we're all going to be together really soon. And one thing I do have to tell you, we're all going to be okay. 
And just the way that you folks have come together to share your talents with our mass families and to make us all feel happy, I want you to feel happy too. And you're absolutely beautiful and your smiles are lovely and your voices are just amazing. So thank you on behalf of, on behalf of mass and our families. I wanna wish everyone a happy holiday and hopefully we'll all be back in the building really, really soon. Also I wanna give a shout out to Mr. Schmidt and the Drama Club and Ms. Hartner for all the hard work that they do for you all. So thank you all very much and hope to see you really, really soon. Okay, uh, Mr. Santiago, before you go, can we ask you a question? Sure thing. What, what does Christmas mean to you? It means a time of calm and happiness. And when I say uh, a thrill of hope, it really does mean that we are helping one another, that we are reaching out, that we're making sure our friends are okay, our family are okay. It's a difficult time right now with COVID. Uh, we have to make sure that we take care of one another and that we extend a hand and that we are always loving and caring for our fellow man. Thank you, Mr. Santiago. Thank you for taking time out of your busy night and joining us. I can't wait to hear the rest of the show. Thank you all. Thank you. Okay. We're going to bring up now Mr. Sawyer's daughter, Olivia, who performed with us last year in one of our shows. And unfortunately, she her school doesn't do this, so she's joining us tonight. Hello, Olivia. How are you? Good. How about you? I'm doing great. I am doing great as long as I turn my camera back on there. Okay. And she's got something in her hair. I, I should change my hair right now. Wait a minute. How do I turn this on? Let me see if I can have something funky in my hair. There we go. How, how do I look, Olivia? Do I look good? Yeah. I look good? Okay, good. And what are you going to sing for us tonight? Rocking around the Christmas tree. Okay. And what are you asking Santa for this year? Um, I want a microphone and some baking supplies. Okay. So you're going to sing while you bake? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But Olivia, you also do some neat things. Olivia makes signs. She made me a beautiful sign for my house. But unfortunately, it's in the closet because I got all my Christmas stuff out where I'd show everybody and give you a plug. But it's Creations by Olivia, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Okay. Rockin' around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. Rockin' around the Christmas tree let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You won't get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing. Let's be jolly, deck the halls with bells of holly, rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in a new old fashioned way. Excellent job. Thank and you. And I'm sure you didn't get that from your dad, did you? <laughs> 
you don't get that dancing from your dad, that's for sure. So, Olivia, thank you for joining us, and you have a wonderful night, okay? Uh-huh. My dad does the bye-bye-bye dance. Oh, your dad's a, he's an in sinker, huh? Okay, everybody heard that. So, Mr. Sawyer is going to do in sync at our next concert. Okay. Now, I need to pin myself. Okay, so now I don't have to go to anybody. I'm just going to leave my seat, and my son is going to jump in, and he is going to sing for you. I like to introduce Stephen. Hello. How do I bring that down? I just. Uh, hello. I'll be singing a little song for you. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, you saved me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, you saved me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Bitten and twice shy. I keep my distance, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Well, it's been a year, it doesn't surprise me. Merry Christmas. I wrapped it up and sent it with a note saying, I love you, I meant it. Now I know what a fool I've been. But if you kiss me now, I know she's been in the game. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. This year, you saved me from tears. I'll give it to someone special. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day, Gave it away this year to save me from tears. I'll give it to someone special. Eyes. I'm hiding from you and your soul of eyes. My God, I thought you were someone to rely on. Me, I guess I was a shoulder to cry on. A face on a lover with a fire in his heart. A man under cover, but you tore me apart. Ooh, ooh, now I found a real love you. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, you saved me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, you saved me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. A face on a lover with a fire in his heart, a man undercover, but you tore him apart.
Oh, here's my father back. <laughs> I'll make it make it full screen for you again, Dad. Here's my father back. Thank you. Merry that Christmas, was Stephen. Happy holidays. And this was Stephen's first Christmas. Yes, he was a baby at one time. Okay, so next up is I apologize. All right, next up, we're going to bring up Lucy McDonough. So we're going back down to the McDonough house. Hi. Hello, Lucy. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. And Lucy, you're the youngest child, which I am the youngest child. Yeah. So that was always my favorite part about Christmas because I was spoiled. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so what does Christmas mean to you, Lucy? Christmas, I mean, it's mainly family and, like, hang out with the ones that you love. I mean, it's also, like, the songs and just the positive feeling that everyone gets and how everyone's really, like, friendly to everyone all the time, you know? Just a feeling of, like, love and warmth. Okay. And so, talking about love and warmth, and you're going to sing The Grinch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take it away. Thank you. You're a mean one. Mr. Grinch, you really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus, you're charming as an eel. Mr. Grinch, you're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a monster. Mr. Grinch, your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders, You've got garlic in your soul. Mr. Grinch, I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half of a pole. You're a vowel one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between the two, hmm, I pick seasick crocodile. You're rotten, Mr. Grinch. You're the king of sinful thoughts. Your heart's a dead tomato, lots of moldy purple spots, Mr. Grinch. You're a three decker sauerkraut and told to a sandwich with arsenic sauce. You nauseate me, Mr. Grinch. With a nauseous super nos. You're a crooked jerky jockey and you drive a crooked hoss, Mr. Grinch. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of rubbish imaginable. Mangled up, entangled up nuts. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. You're a heart full of unwashed ox. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, stink, stank, stunk. Thank you, Lucy. That was great. Great you. job. You have a wonderful holiday. You too. 
Take care. Okay. Now we're going to go over to Jasmine Islamova. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, Mr. Schmidt. How are you tonight? Good. Good. You can put your camera on. And before I go any further, Jasmine, I have to plug something that I didn't plug. Just remember, today was Deck the Halls, Stevens Decks the Halls. So make sure that you watch it on YouTube. It's the Stephen in the Halls Holiday Edition. And Jasmine, so you are going to sing for us. You are going to sing for us. Where are you, Christmas? And Jasmine, what what are you looking forward to, Christmas? I'm looking forward, like opening the presents and like gathering around the Christmas tree and like exchanging gifts and like looking in our stockings, sitting by the fireplace, like leaving cookies and milk for Santa Claus. Wow, your house sounds like a Hallmark movie, but that sounds great. That sounds awesome. And I love your shirt. You got Mickey and Minnie on your shirt. And that's where, that's where I will be on Christmas Day in Disney World. So take it away, Jasmine. Okay. With love, 
Excellent job, Jasmine. Excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great holiday. And now we're going to bring up Serena uh, Ramirez. Serena, how are you tonight? I'm good. Okay. And you're going to sing a classic for us. Okay. You're going to sing a Christmas classic for us that everybody out there should know and will hopefully be singing along with you. And what are you asking for Christmas this year? Um, I like um, spa stuff. Uh, I got to Google that one, too. I got to Google that one, Stephen. And LED lights. Okay. All right. So whenever you're ready, take it away. I'm not even going to introduce this song because everybody knows it. Snow man was a jolly, happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman was a fairy till they say he was made out of snow and the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk cap they found. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty the Snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Oh, thumpity thump, thump, thumpity thump, thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the hills of snow. Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, Let's run and we'll have some fun. Now before I melt away, down to the village with the broomstick in his hand. Running here and there all around the square, saying, Catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of town right to the traffic cop. He only paused a moment when he heard him holler, stop. Oh, Frosty the Snowman had to hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye saying, don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Thumpity thump, thump, thumpity thump, thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the hills of snow. Great job. Somebody was thumping with you there, right? You did a great job. Okay, now we're going to go. <laughs> Hi. That's okay. Everybody's welcome. Now we're going to go to Virginia Smith. Hello, Virginia. How are you? Hi, Mr. Schmidt. I'm good. Okay. All right. And Virginia is an eighth grader who started with us in third grade. And Virginia, I just thought I'd share this with you. I got this ornament in the mail today, yesterday, and that's frozen, but they all have masks on. Okay. <laughs> How is ironic is that? Because this year, the Mass Drama Club is going to present the musical Frozen. And when we do these concerts, we like to sing one song from Frozen. And Virginia is one of the young ladies who is playing the role of Elsa. Okay. So Virginia is going to sing the song that not too many people ever heard of. Okay. So I'm just going to say, let it go. Why? 
quiet on the mountain I am not a footprint to be seen A kingdom of isolation And it looks like I'm the queen The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I've tried don't let them in, don't let them see Be the good girl you always have to be Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know Well now they know Let it go, let it go Can't hold it back anymore Let it go, let it go Never bothered me anyway. It's funny how some distance makes everything seem small, and the fears that once controlled me can't get to me at all. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free. Let it go, let it go. I'm one with the wind and sky. Let it go, let it go. You'll never see me cry. Here I stand, and here I'll stay. Let the storm rage on. My power flurries through the air into the ground. My soul is spiraling in frozen fractals all around. And one thought crystallizes like in Thank you, Virginia. Virginia, before we go, um, Virginia, what does Christmas mean to you? Christmas to me means obviously a lot of love. I love seeing my family members and I love everything around Christmas, like um, all the things that we do. And it's just like warm and cozy and I love it so much. Okay. Well, thank you and uh, have a great holiday. Thank you. You too. Okay. And we're going to bring back up Miss Earhart. Okay, you're still with us, Allie. Allie, before I finish, I just need to say a couple words. Sure. I want to take this time on behalf of Mrs. Hartner and myself. We'd like to thank all these wonderful performers who performed with us tonight. We'd like to thank Mr. Swoyer for joining us, Mrs. Santiago for joining us this evening. A special thank you to Mr. Keenan, um, who's in charge of uh, the programs and um, the athletics. And uh, a special thanks to Mrs. Cologne for um, – Miss Suzanne, Ms. Suzanne Cologne, I'm sorry. for We thank her for um, all the publicity, communications for us, and helping us with, uh, putting on tonight's show. And we hope you all enjoyed it, and we're going to close it out. Um, Allie's going to sing when we talk about Christmas classics. This is a true Christmas classic. Take it away, Allie.
Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round young virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and Sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, so Thank you, Alessandra. What a way to end the show. Could I ask everybody to come back on screen? Please. Let's get them all up here. There we go. All right. You can turn your cameras on and we could all wave goodbye. Folks, again, we thank you for joining us. Bye. We thank you, and we'll see you in May, and um, you'll come out and see our show. It will happen. We just don't know when and where yet, but it will happen, and everybody have a happy holiday. Take care, and good night. Merry Christmas, and good night, I'll say. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. All right. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs>